Tell the other officer. Where's Augustine? Where's your boss? I just text him. There you are. Yes, sir. Full, full, full my boss and everything. All, all, all I want is just free speech. Just like every other city in America. Yes, I like you. We have a good rapport. Yes, I don't know what that dude's problem is down, who, who's down, that? Down, down there. We got off of the public area. And now they're telling me that this... Tell, tell, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Is this a Lakewood fire hydrant? Uh, no, sir. I believe it's a city. They told me to go to the corner, I'm on the corner, and they're still busting my chops. So I'm you super know, mad right now. You know what I, uh, what they were telling me? Um, I obeyed. I'm is, down here. Is, I think if they, they get a permit with this, and I believe this is what they were telling me from, from, uh, from okay. Diego, they, they get a permit to, sh to take the street, to close the street um, because of the traffic. I move. So just so. let me know if I'm good, and please tell your guys to leave okay. me alone. Okay. Okay. This looks good to me. Thank let you, me sir. Who was the officer? Who was the gentleman that you spoke? Thank you, sir. I forget. Who was the gentleman that you spoke? I forget. There was like eight of them, but like half of them didn't even follow okay. us. Let me chat with them. Let yeah. me chat. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. No. Guys, we're just here because we're loving Christians. We care about your soul, and a lot of you don't seem to care about what happens when you die one day. You're gonna die. You're gonna meet Jesus. Matthew chapter seven. Many on that day, big guy with the suit and the camera, many on that day will say, Lord, Lord, and the Lord will say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. That's you. Okay, I had a good talk with the officer, got him lined up. I always got to know where these, where these are at. It's a fire agent. Lakewood doesn't own that. Lakewood doesn't own that. This woman right here is a loudmouth woman going to hell. I don't know why she has a badge. They ain't got no gun. But if, yeah, you said something earlier. Jesus is going to throw you in hell. That's what I'm saying. Never be afraid to preach to cops. All right, I need somebody to hold this. It's, it's live right now. It's live. No, just hold it. Just let it run. Just let it run. We're, we're waiting for the flood of people to come out of 1230. I think we got another 10, 15 minutes. There's three main exits. One's down there, private. One's by the freeway, which is horrible. And then this big old one right here. You can yeah, zoom up, see what it says Lakewood Church there. Zoom up on that. All right, I'm going to quote some Bible to you. John chapter 3, verse 36. He that has the Son has life. He that does not have the Son does not have life. But the wrath of God abides upon him. The wrath of God abides upon you, sinner, hypocrite. 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10, be not deceived, homosexuals, fornicators, whores, drunkards shall not inherit heaven. Having sex before marriage, you're a whoremonger. You are a whore. Go into hell, repent. Repent. I don't always have to quote this exact scripture. These sinners don't know. Fornicator, whore, it's all good. Hey, we're just a regular church wondering why girls are wearing tight jeans to church like a slut. Why are they having part of their breast hang out like a tramp? Why are the men wearing skinny jeans like a fag? Why? It's not, I thought it was church. Wicked. Bunch of sinners! You just love that money! This is a money church! It's a cult! It's like Jehovah Witness or Mormon! It's just a money fake church covetous! God sees through your lies! God said, Holy Bible! Because he's a holy God! And he demands holiness of the heart. You must live holy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can chat. I'm gonna keep it on camera. Uh, so, uh, uh, did, uh, did Sergeant uh, Wynn email you for uh, regarding the uh, like city ordinance? There's there was a few links. I think he mentioned about city ordinances. Uh, yes. Uh, I think that that entailed the, the protest. Um, uh, 
stick template or, or ordinance uh, on it and the sound permits and all that. So I don't know if you just saw that. Uh, he sent me one on the sound permit. Yes. Sir. And uh, I pulled a permit uh, yesterday, and it said the one business, one business day. Okay. And so I'm just waiting on that email. So okay. I'm gonna check my email like every 20 minutes. Okay. So I haven't. I, I don't have it right now. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. But like I was trying to tell you earlier, sir, it was I was telling you which direction you were walking. You kind of got yeah. upset with it. What I was trying to tell you is you're gonna have to still put the sticks back in your car because they're against. Do the you city think ordinance. I'm gonna hit somebody with that stick, sir? Regardless, sir, it's a city ordinance. No, I stick on the ground. No, stick period. You I have stick in the protest of ordinance, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I stick in the, in the protest. Yes, I'm not using the stick in the protest. Okay. Well, you still have to put it back in your car. Like I said, I don't want to write you. I don't. I'm, I don't I'm have to sue you. you, sir. I don't, but I okay. will. Well, that's fine, sir. Because I'm not using that in the protest. And clearly, sir, film down there, honey. Film down there. Does so, that look like it's attached to my sir, to my banner? Let's just make it a real simple federal case. Because we don't go city case. So we go all the way to the top. Abandoned on the ground is what you're saying. I'm not abandoning anything. I don't litter, sir. So you do not have If you want to watch me for the next 45 minutes and see if I take my trash well, at regardless. the end of 45 minutes, then you can cite me for littering or not, depending if I litter or not. So don't act like uh, you're a psychic and you know what I'm going to do, sir. You have no clue what I'm going to do. I am not a, uh, a, a Palestinian guy throwing rocks at BLM, throwing rocks through cops' windows. I'm a peaceful Christian man trying to do First Amendment, and you're spitting on soldiers' blood by busting my chucks. I'm not, honestly, I'm not here to talk to you guys. I'm here to talk to the deceived followers from there. Let's, let me preach to them. Just like, stop harassing me. Leave me alone. Okay. Well, Joel like Osteen followers. I would Joel, love to let you preach. I would love to let you do your message. Joel, you're, you're not, not letting me time. preach. You keep interrupting me. I still me. need you to move your sticks. You keep you interrupting me right now, sir. You don't go to this church, do you? It's a bad church. Be warned. Be warned. It's okay. a bad church. So they this want is your, your last warning, sir. I'm going to give you for your sticks. This okay. is your last warning for a federal lawsuit. Okay. You're the one that's named, not Augustine. Okay. You, Gonzalez. Sergeant What's your Gonzalez. badge number? Sergeant Gonzalez. I don't have a badge number, sir. Sorry. Oh, please. You don't have a badge number? What is this, Mexico? Everybody has a badge number, and if you ever heard of somebody church without a badge number, you guys ever heard of that in your life? What's your badge number? And I'm a sergeant, sir. Once you make rank after officer, you don't have a badge number anymore. Oh, oh, well, I'm not from Houston, so okay. okay. All right, sorry about that. I apologize. Gonzalez, D. Gonzalez, Sergeant Gonzalez. And you're the only D. Gonzalez in the whole force of 5,500 officers. I did Google that one. 5,500. I'm not. You're not. See there. That, that, I need. I need some more identification. What's your first name? Dennis. Dennis, I don't want to have to name you on the suit. Well, regardless, sir, I'm you're, still going to have to do my job. You're interrupting okay. free speech, I'm, I'm First Amendment. I'm trying to allow you to do it, sir. I'm, I, you're, I'm, and I'm trying to preach and, and you just keep you interrupting and make me. Make sure everything, no one bothers you. Make sure that you do your, you can spread your message the entire time. You know what, James, you here. preach. I will, I will take these polls to my car and I'll be back in 30 seconds. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank such you. A, such a bad cop. Gonzalez, you're a bad cop. She needs a motive. It's a very simple message. No holiness, no heaven. Even Joel Osteen followers should be able to follow along with that. The Bible says no holiness, no heaven. If you're drinking alcohol, if you're smoking weed, if you're having sex outside of marriage, if you're some little dyke, if you're some faggot, God says you're going to hell. The Bible says it is an abomination for a woman to wear what a man wears. That means if you're a woman officer, God hates your guts. If you're some little whore that's wearing the uniform, God hates your guts. I don't know who that can be. Could be anybody out here. You are going to hell. You are going to hell. The Bible says, no holiness, no heaven. And to show how wicked all of you Joel Osteen followers are, I bet many of you right after this are going to Twin Peaks or Hooters for lunch. And some of you whores are gonna go work there after this service. Shame on you. Probably the one wearing a fake cop uniform is gonna go work at Twin Peaks after this. I don't know. Seems to be the normal thing with these whores in Houston, Texas. All she does, the Bible says, is perfume her bed, say she has done her good deeds, 
The Bible says you're going to hell. God's word says you're going to hell. Doesn't matter what rank you are, what you do, you're going to hell because of your sin. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Shame. Shame on you. Every Joel Osteen follower is going to hell. <coughs> hey, brother. Oh, you know, we're preaching uh, against Joel Osteen. Because uh, he doesn't follow holiness. Are you a Christian? Yes, sir. All right, you got to live holy. Yes, sir. No sex outside of marriage, no alcohol, no smoking weed. Right, right. Or approving of those who do it. Is he, is he a big drinker or something? Or? No, he's a big promoter of sin. He says it's okay for you to be in your sin. He says God wants to give you all the things of your heart's desire. The Bible says if you're in sin, your heart is deceitfully wicked. Is, is he a faggot or something? Wicked. He has fags teaching children's church inside Lakewood. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm check out children's church. Uh, I'm telling you right now, don't take your daughter to the children's church. They let okay. fags... Teach children inside of Lakewood Church. Is that right? Oh yeah, that's right. You're in Houston, Texas, you never rebuke them? Oh, it's all over. He doesn't want to say they're bad people. He thinks God wants to meet them where they're at. God says they're reprobates. Uh, actually, I was trying to hear his point of view because I didn't know. No, no, no. So I got to hear his point of view, officer. Uh, the Bible says to be not deceived. You are deceived. You're making a choice to be deceived. You have that cotton candy Christianity is what Joel Osteen is all about. It's just sweet to everyone. No substance. And when the little water of the word comes on, it just melts away. Cotton candy Christianity. That's what it is. The Bible says those that hate righteousness and love iniquity god abhors that's you joel osteen does not abhor what's evil joel osteen says what is evil he's not here to judge it well the bible says a spiritual man judges all things clearly joel osteen's not some spiritual man he's just a businessman and it's really good business down here in Houston, Texas, because everyone wants a nice, fluffy message. They want to be able to hang out with their Muslim cousins and their gay uncles and their faggot, queer little cousins and all of that and be okay. The Bible says that two cannot walk together unless they be in agreement. How can Joel Osteen have homos inside of his church unless he's in agreement with them? How come Joel Osteen doesn't preach about the abortion clinic that wasn't too far from here before? You didn't see any Joel Osteen followers out there. You guys have the biggest homo parade in Houston and there's no Joel Osteen followers out there. None. You gotta have Preachers all the way from across the world in Atlanta, over in Houston, Texas, none, none to be found. Over in North Carolina, Pennsylvania to come down here and preach to the homos in Houston. Shame. No fun now. That's what that is. You wanna go? No. I'll preach, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I got some the direction. Okay, uh, Aria, Aria, you can turn it this way. Scoot back a little bit. Okay. Waiting for them to come out that entrance. Yeah. Okay. Repent, great Christian! Thou art the man guilty of adultery! Thou art the man guilty of homosexuality! Thou art the man guilty of pornography. Thou art the man guilty of false teaching. Thou art the man guilty supporting feminism, which supports baby killing. Shame on you for going to this synagogue of Satan. Synagogue of Satan. Uh, yeah.
got to ride that more, didn't it?
we are on the broadcast of this question. It doesn't matter if you go to church three days a week. It doesn't matter if you tithe. The Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You just give your time, but you don't obey. You don't know, live holy, masturbator, pornography watcher, cigarette sucker, vapor, drinking alcohol, many, many things to talk about. All of this place. Things that Joel Osteen won't name. He won't name those things. But I'm naming them to you today to try to trick your heart. When your kid gets molested by a homosexual in this same church one day, I told you so. The real Christians were on the public street corner trying to warn you, because we know Joel has some lesbos and gays in that children's church. And lets them teach the children. Don't send your kid to a summer camp at Lakewood, that's for sure. This place is like a Catholic church, filled with, filled with nasty homos and pedophiles. Back to the subject of Joel. He tickles your ears. He tickles your ears. You don't she obey like Jesus. Like you know, he's not your savior if he's not your Lord. That's how it works. It's like a, a sergeant and then a, a, a lieutenant. And, and the sergeant says something. And, and the lieutenant is higher up and says, no, you do this. See, God is in charge. God is Lord. But you want him to have your savior. You want to use him as fire insurance so you can get out of hell one day. The day you die, sir. The day you stand before God, ma'am. You want to use him as fire insurance. That's not how God works. If he's not commander of all, he's not commander at all. He's not your savior because he's not your Lord. He must be your Lord. He dressed like a prostitute. What is it? The brothel convention? The Bible says the thigh is naked then. I mean, what is going on around here? I know you dress like that on the club Friday night, but you should at least try to dress up when you come to this fake church. If that's how you dress at a fake church, man, what do you do on Friday night? Disgusting. Wicked. Sex before marriage means you're a whore. Sir, sex before marriage means you're a whoremonger. Both of them deserve AIDS. Gonorrhea, STDs, and hellfire in the end. We're just regular Christians here. Trying to warn my neighbors, trying to warn my neighbors myself. Drove out from Pennsylvania to warn you. Drove out from Pennsylvania to warn a few of the states in the South. So, you know, the South needs a tight-knit Bible belt. It needs a tight-knit up. I don't know what is going on. I've seen more trainees in Houston than I have in Philadelphia. It is disgusting. It is crazy. And I bet half of them are in this fake church, Lakewood. Oh, you sticking your tongue out? Nose ring? Disgusting. Straight to hell. Looks like a lesbo dyke. Nasty. God sees you. God commands you to repent from the heart. The women put on a long skirt and a head covering. Men cut the long hair. You don't look like the chosen. You look like the de chosen. <laughs> like to get your ears tickled. Going straight to hell, sinner. Straight to the lake of fire. Yeah. Hypocrite. I'll be a gentleman. I'm going to open the door. I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy a rose. I'm going to have sex before marriage like a dog. I'm going to say, oh, just a little bit of kissing before marriage. Nah. Nah, you don't live, boy. You're going to hell. Yeah. You'll burn. You'll burn in the lake of fire with your faded jeans. Trying to look cool. Trying to blend it with the world. The Bible says friendship with the world is enmity with God. Shame on you guys. Back in your pants and shirt. Wearing your bling bling and shirt. Having your big... You know, looking cool in church. You go to the church and you call yourself a Christian. Hey, Jesus rode on a camel, but he didn't have a camel toe. Shame on you, camel toe ho. Shame. Heaven or hell awaits you. Time for you to repent of your sins. Time to get right with God. Oh, the little kids go to heaven. But the moms that are deceived by Joel Osteen go straight to hell. The moms that are deceived by Victoria Osteen, a woman at the pulpit? Have you not read the New Testament? Women are going to be silent in the church? Have you not read that? Do you not understand the holiness of God? Of course you don't. You're here getting your ears tickled. Put on the $20 at the bucket think you're okay with God. You're not okay with God. Every single person that's over the age of like 8 or 12 in this church is going straight to hell. Every man, every woman, every usher, every teacher, every one of you in the cars, straight to the lake of fire. You're no better than a Mormon in a cult. You're no better than a Jehovah Witness in a cult. You just want an excuse for your sin. Tight. 
seventeen. Disgusting. Show off your butt box. The thirty thousand men in the.